Hey guys, welcome back. Today I will be creating this awesome looking PowerPoint presentation template which has animation, modern look and feel and yes, it has morph transition which you haven't seen before. I have tried a unique animation style here which is very interesting and very easy to create. I am sure you will love this template and want to download. So please subscribe and let's start the journey. As you can see this is a blank canvas. I will fill it with four equal size rectangles. You know how to add shapes. Go to insert and add rectangle. As usual, I have removed the outline and will only consider the fill. I have already placed the colors at the top for my reference. Just duplicate the rectangles three times and group them together. Fit them on the slide and ungroup. By doing this you have aligned them and placed them equally on the slide. Time to add colors. Very easy. Just pick the colors from the color palette and fill the rectangles. Your color scheme might be different due to the template you are following. Try to match things with the colors and ensure consistency. Now the colors filling process is complete. Let's add the navigational buttons on the slides. I will add circles and arrows over it. This style of button is matching the theme but you can think of a different style. Or you can pick different button styles from various online sources. Let's inset the icons for the navigational buttons and the rectangles we have created. Office 365 icons are fine and can be customized. You can also insert the icons from third-party apps or websites. The decision is yours. There are many icon styles you can find on various online portals which are unique and modern. I will cover them as any of my video. For now let's use these standard icons. Navigation buttons are looking good and let's keep them here. Now adjust the navigation buttons placement. You know how to do it. One thing I always notice is that, in many PowerPoint slides, alignment is always missing. Always focus on alignment. This will make the PowerPoint more visually appealing. Once the navigation is in place, adjust the placement and colors of the icon. This is looking nice. I will now add some text. You can also try different text styles and placement. I am using this left section for placing the text. Text has three main aspects, font, font size, and color. Well, you can also add placement as fourth aspect. Let's quickly finish the text part, and then we'll move forward. Now let's add some elements to enhance it aesthetically, and these small elements work well with morph transition. During animation, this elements animate as per the morph transition and give a dynamic look and feel. You must try adding small elements and change their placement and rotation on next and previous slides. After that, see the magic. Here I am placing a small bar below the navigation button and on each rectangle. In the next slides that I will design, I will change their rotation and position to support the morph transition. Here I am trying to add many elements, but also want to achieve minimalism. It will work if we use small elements and ensure their placement is not taking the center stage. I am adding these three small circles to create a menu-like visual. You can also change its style and add animation while navigating through the slides. Always zoom in on the slides while designing to get the accurate view. Now duplicate by pressing Ctrl plus D and paste across the other rectangles. But make sure everything is aligned. Similarly, paste the other elements as well. Here you can try to innovate different styles, elements and their placement to empower your content. Also, you can create different color schemes matching the content of your slides. If it is related to water then you many want to try the aqua color scheme. Now it's the time to add next slides. You can duplicate the slides by pressing Ctrl plus D. Very simple. Now I will arrange the items in different patterns on the slides so that morph transition can work amazingly. Here I have moved the icon slightly towards the top. When we will play it in slideshow mode the icon will animate and move gently from the previous position to the current changed position. This is fantastic and you can create different movements using morph transition. 
On my channel you will find lots of videos related to morph transition. Here I am adding content on the slide and it is an important aspect as it is the content that you are presenting in a beautiful manner. I have applied different font styles and size for heading, subheading and content. You can always try different styles for getting the desired output. Adding text sometimes can be time consuming as you have to align and adjust. But trust me it is worth the time. Everything is a storytelling and PowerPoint is one of the best tools to tell you story. I always say that before creating a presentation, think of it as a story and you will be able to deliver a good presentation. So the moral of the story is, if you are struggling with your PowerPoint job, think of it as a method of storytelling. Here you can see, I have added an icon, heading, subheading, description and call to action button. This is a set pattern which I use across my designs. However, your content requirements would be different. You have to adjust the design according to the content you have like you might have some number to showcase, some image, multiple quotes, etc. Then you have to think from that perspective like how to fit things on a canvas in an arranged manner and establish a connection between the items. This will make your PowerPoint more presentable, engaging, smooth and fun to watch. Here I have also added a gradient circle behind the icon. This will give it a dynamic look. This is a template which I will replicate across the rectangles but on different slides. All you have to do is duplicate the slides by pressing Ctrl plus D and then group and copy the gradient circle, icon, heading, subheading content and call to action button. After copying the grouped item paste the same on the next rectangle on the next slide. After that you can change the content. I will recommend to keep the content short and engaging so that it can easily fit the content placeholder. After pasting the grouped items on the next slide replace the icon. Just follow the same steps for the next rectangles as well. I thought why not create the thank you slide. It will look nicer during the slideshow. Just duplicate the first slide and move to the end and add thank you as a text at the center. Also, slightly change the rotation of the icons if you want and Morph Transition will do the magic. If you want to give special treatment to any text item, just increase the character spacing and this will make your text elegant and modern looking. You can modify the distance between the text characters. Try to change the spacing multiple times to find the right balance. Other than icons, you can also change the position and rotation of other elements as well. This will make your slide more interesting and very unique. Try it out. Here I have also changed the position of the text as well. Now the next step is hyperlink of the navigational buttons. Click on the arrows inside the circle, right click and select link. Now select the next slide on the right arrow and previous slide on the left arrow. This navigation will work during slideshow mode when you will click on the navigation button to navigate through the slides. Do this on all the slides. It will only take a minute. Interactions depend on the content of the slides. If your content demands interactions then you should definitely add them. Adding interactions give more control to the user. I am almost finished the navigation button implementation. Now let's adjust the elements for morph transition. I will show you a few and then you can try out. What you have to do is to adjust the placement on the elements on the screen. Also, you can copy the main highlight like content block and paste on the previous and next slide but outside of the slide area. Means, during slide show the animation will start from the point where you have pasted the content block on the previous slide and then it will move to the current slide and then again will animate to next slide where you have again pasted outside of the slide area. I have pasted content blocks on all the slides around the slide area. Now they will automatically animate as per the morph transition. Let's do one more amazing thing. Insert a hollow circle and paste it on all the slides with different size and placement. Change its position on all the slides. Just follow what I am doing and let's quickly paste it across the slides. Meanwhile you can click on the subscribe button if you like our content. Also, you can go to creativevenus.com where I have started adding beautiful templates for you guys to use and practice. 
When the circles will be in place then you will see the magic. The animation of the circle will make slide more dynamic and engaging. PowerPoint has got a great potential. And you can try out almost anything as it gives a power of customization. So now we have finished the placement of the hollow circle across the slides. Well, the design is complete, but let me show you the placement of content blocks outside of slide area so that you can understand the flow of morph transition. So, you can see here the content blocks at the bottom part. This will animate and move on to the slide on the next slide. And similarly, the content block of next slide is placed at the bottom of the current slide. In simpler terms, this will be the origin of the animation path. So if you see, I have done the same on all the slides. I have placed content blocks on previous and next slides for smooth flow of animation. This will look amazing in the final output. This is how it will look, and I hope you like it. Watch this beautiful creation, subscribe, like and share the videos. And we will see you guys in our next video.